So some of the things, you know, what uh, healthcare systems need to do is we need to switch from volume-based care to value-based care, which means that you're not just doing a lot of uh, patients based on how many number of patients you see or how many operations you do. You, the care should be based on what value does the patient get? Just because you see them more often, does that mean do, are they healthier? Just because you make more visits or more operations or more prescriptions, does that mean are they healthier? How So the economy or, or the business model of healthcare should change from getting paid to see sick patients to getting paid to prevent sickness in the patient. So you have to bring value based on patient outcomes. Going upstream, you know, Obviously, the care at the hospital is the most expensive, like intensive care. So we need to move the care from the hospital to the clinic, to the home. And eventually, you know, once we have more information on, 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 the, on, on the genome, we will be able to take the care back into the womb um, and how to prevent um, disease in the later part of life. And then getting research. Um, this is this is a big thing for me. The current scientific method believes that you know if you have a question, a research question, you have to come up with a hypothesis. You take a sample from the population. You say take a sample data, and then you apply that question, apply that to that sample data, and then you come up with an answer. But now that we have new technologies, a lot of data available, artificial intelligence tools, we can study the whole population. We don't have to pick a sample population, but we could potentially study every single person because every single person has a medical record and we have data on these patients. And then you ask that question to the whole population. And then that's how you get the answers. Now, of course, it is not as rigorous as the scientific method. You know, for example, it's not as rigorous as a clinical trial, but you could potentially do a clinical trial using technology tools. You can do prospective studies on whole populations. Um, this is a complex slide, uh, but mostly it pertains to the US, so I will not go through that. Um, one of the things that you can, uh, I'm just checking my time here. Okay, uh, hopefully five more minutes. Um, with machine learning and artificial intelligence, what we can look at is what has happened to patients. Okay, we look at, let's say 10,000 patients in your healthcare system and say, out of these, okay, 10,000 out of these, maybe 5,000 patients have high blood pressure. And out of these 5,000 patients, how many patients have their high blood pressure controlled? And so what does that lead to? Well, it may lead to heart attacks and strokes. So how is this population doing? You know, you can compare the ones that have blood pressure that is controlled versus the blood pressure, versus the patients that don't have their blood pressure control and see the incidence of heart attacks and strokes. So that's a very simple and easy study, as long as you have all the data available. And then using that information, you can predict what will happen to these patients. Let's say you have these 2000 patients that don't have their blood pressure under control. So you know that each year, maybe 5% of them will have heart attacks compared to maybe 1% who will have heart attacks if their blood pressure was controlled. So those are the kinds of predictive analytics you can do with artificial intelligence and machine learning. And then how do you prevent, not only you know who is going to get these bad outcomes, but also you can figure out what prevention mechanism you can use to prevent 
that bad outcome from happening. So that way, because when, when a bad outcome happens, the cost of care goes up. Remember, you know, you end up in the hospital. So how do you prevent that from happening? What medications, what lifestyle changes, what diet, what, so you can actually go deep into uh, what are the things that can prevent these bad outcomes from happening?